In this video, I'll show you Pictory, an AI video builder that I tested. I had never used this AI video builder before. You'll see how quickly someone with no experience can create a video using these tools. Like all other AI video builder services I tested, Pictory offers a free account option. The free account lasts for 14 days, allowing you to create up to three videos, each up to five minutes long. This should be sufficient to test the service and decide if you want to get a premium package. Pictory also offers a money-back guarantee, so even if you subscribe, you can request a refund if you're not satisfied. I tested a total of four AI video builders. The results and final videos are included in the next video, where I also provide a final rating of which service performed best. If you like this video, please subscribe and like our channel. Also, if you want to support our work, check out the discount links in the description of this video. For the purpose of this test, I tried to make a short video for YouTube or TikTok, possibly for Instagram. It's a promo video for Wix. I believe everyone knows what Wix is. If not, you have a link to our video about Wix in the top right corner. In short, it is a web service for quick, simple, and free website creation. My first step was to create a script that I would use for these AI video builders. Some of these sites have a script writing option, but I decided to use ChatGPT as it seemed easier and faster. I won't burden you too much with this step. In short, ChatGPT wrote the script in about 10 minutes. If you're interested in more about ChatGPT, let us know in the comments and we'll make a video about how to use this tool to create scripts. The first step is to create a free account. Click on Get Started for Free, then follow the steps. I linked my Gmail account to speed up the process. Once you create an account and log in for the first time, you'll need to answer a few questions about how you plan to use the videos you create. After answering all the questions, a new window will open where you can choose how you want to create your video. I chose script to video since I already had a script. Besides this, you have options to edit videos, add subtitles, summarize a long video using AI, or create a video collage. When you click on script to video, a new window opens where you can choose to create a video from an article or a script you provide. I clicked on script and a new window with a short tutorial opened. I recommend watching it as it makes creating your video easier and faster. After finishing the tutorial, close the window and on the next screen, select Script to Video. Paste your script and edit it if needed. In the upper right corner, you have the Scene Settings option, where you can choose whether you want subtitles to follow the voiceover, if AI should add visuals, and how often AI should insert new scenes. AI can insert new scenes at the end of each sentence, at the end of each line in your script, or both. Once you set everything up as you want, click Proceed. When the video is generated, you can edit it further by changing scenes, text, audio, music, etc. The main menu is on the left side. I first changed the video format because, as I mentioned, I am making a video for YouTube Shorts and TikTok, which requires a vertical 916 video. Here, you can also change the video resolution to 720p or 1080p. You can also optimize the video, which essentially reduces the video file size, but increases the time needed to generate the video once editing is complete. I can say that this editor is also very good and detailed, just like CapCuts. It has many options and seems to cover everything needed for thorough video editing. When you click on audio in the main menu on the left, you can edit background music and voiceover and add your own audio files. The selection of voices for the voiceover is excellent, and the music selection is not bad either. If you don't like any of these, you can still use your files, though this somewhat defeats the purpose of using the AI tool. On the right side in the preview player, you can toggle subtitles on and off. The selection of video scenes for my script was quite good. Unlike other AI video builders I tested, Pictory seemed to understand the essence of the script and what should be displayed. When you finish editing each scene, if you want to see a preview, click on the scene and then the play button to generate the preview. When you click on Visuals, you can search for videos in Pictory's library. When you click on Styles, you can choose the subtitle style. Clicking on Text allows you to add your text independent of the subtitles. Clicking on Branding lets you add your branding elements such as your logo and fonts. In the Elements section, you can add interesting stickers, GIFs, and emoticons. When you finish the entire video, you can preview it by clicking the Preview button or download the finished video by clicking Download. 
If you're interested in the final video I created using this AI service, check out the final video linked in the top right corner and in the description of this video. It includes all the final versions of the videos from each AI video builder I tested and my final evaluation of all these services. And of course, like and subscribe to our channel if you liked what you saw today. I hope to see you again in another test.